بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم kisi-kisi materi kuliah umum Sabtu sore sepanjang masa Electric Teleconference 14 Agustus tahun 2032 Masehi Mission of materials of the public lecture of afternoon Saturday of all time with Electric Teleconference of man Agus 14th of year 2022 and no domini. Arahan pendiri dan ketua umum Majelis Pimpinan Pusat Global Yayasan Mandeling Raya. The direction from the founder and the general chairman of the Central Global Leadership Assembly of the Great Mandeling Foundation. Agus Salim ST bin Abdurrahim Nasution. Materi Merdeki Kuliah Umum Sabtu sore sepanjang masa Electric Teleconference di Kantor Pusat Global Majelis Pimpinan Pusat Global Yayasan Mandeling Raya. Materials of the public lecture of afternoon Saturday of all time with electric teleconference in the global head office of the Central Global Leadership Assembly of the Great Mandolin Foundation. Sabtu 14 Agustus tahun 2032, materi kuliah umum e-teleconference, eksistensi koordinator Biro Tanggap Darurat Pemanasan Global, Global Warming, DPC, Tanggap Darurat, Majelis Pimpinan Rukun Tetangga Yayasan Mandai Raya, di seluruh dunia yang dikonsentrasi taktiskan di Kabupaten Mandai Natal, yang terdapat dalam jurnal bulanan Analisis Riset Mikron Gen Biologis Sepanjang Masa nomor 271 bulan Juli tahun 2032 Today 14th of May August 2022 Public Lecture Material Italy Conference Extensive of the Coordinator of the Bureau of the Emergency Response of Global Warming the Division of Emergency Response of the Neighborhood Leadership Assembly of the Great Mandeling Foundation on Dwight is concerned and tactics in the agency of Mandeling Natal, containing the Mandi Journal of Disease Analysis of Biological Genetic Micron of All Time. Number 271 of Manjule 2032. Koordinator Biro Tanggap Darurat Pemanasan Global, Global Warming, Divisi Tanggap Darurat, Majelis Pimpinan Rukun Tetangga Yayasan Mandeng Raya untuk merekomendasikan kepada jurusan teknik sipil, Fakultas Teknik Sipil dan Lingkungan. Jurusan Hukum Administrasi Negara, Jurusan Hukum Masyarakat dan Pembangunan, Jurusan Hukum Bisnis, Jurusan Hukum Ekonomi, Jurusan Hukum Perdagangan. Internasional dan jurusan hukum keuangan negara, Fakultas Hukum, jurusan pendidikan teknik dan kejuruan, jurusan pendidikan ekonomi, dan jurusan pendidikan teknik, bangunan, Fakultas Keguruan dan Ilmu Pendidikan, manajemen dan kebijakan publik, ilmu administrasi negara, dan ilmu administrasi publik, Fakultas Ilmu Sosial dan Ilmu Politik. Muamalah Hukum Bisnis Islam, Keuangan Islam, dan Hukum Ekonomi Syariah, Fakultas Syariah, Jurusan Teknik Sipil dan Lingkungan, Fakultas Teknologi Pertanian. Jurusan Ekonomi dan Studi Pembangunan, dan Jurusan Ekonomi Sumber Daya dan Lingkungan, Fakultas Ekonomi dan Manajemen, Jurusan Perencanaan dan Kebijakan,
Publik dan Jurusan Bisnis Islam, Fakultas Ekonomi, The Department of Urban Studies and Planning, School of Architecture and Planning, Civil and Environmental Engineering. School of Engineering Business Administration Program, Agus Salim Management, Jurusan Perencanaan Wilayah dan Kota, Sekolah Arsitektur, Perencanaan dan Pengembangan, Kebijakan dan Jurusan Manajemen dan Jurusan Kewirausahaan, Sekolah Bisnis dan Manajemen, Universitas Mandailing, untuk memutahirkan dengan Memahami Surat Edaran Nomor 10 SEM 2018 tentang pemberlakuan standar dokumen pemilihan pengadaan jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat untuk tahun anggaran 2019, yaitu lampiran dua Surat Edaran Menteri Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat Nomor 10 SEM 2018 tentang pemberlakuan standar Dokumen pemilihan pengadaan jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat untuk tahun anggaran 2019, yaitu The Coordinator of the Bureau of the Emergency Response of the Global Warming, the Division of Emergency Response of the Neighborhood Leadership Assembly of the Great Mandeling Foundation. To recommend to the Department of Civil Engineering, the Faculty of Civil and Environmental Engineering, the Department of State Administrative Law, the Department of Law of Public and Development, the Department of Business Law, the Department of Economic Law, the Department of Internal Trade Law, and the Department of State Financial Law, the Faculty of Law, the Department of Engineering and Vocational Education, the Department of Economic Education, and the Department of Building Engineering Education. The Faculty of Teacher Training and Education Science, Management and Public Policy, State Administration Science, and Public Administration Science, the Faculty of Social Sciences, and Political Science, Muamala, Islamic Business Law, Islamic Finance and Sharia Economic Law, the Faculty of Sharia, the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, the Faculty of Agricultural Technology, the Department of Economics and Development Studies, and the Department of Resource and Environmental Economics, the Faculty of Economics and Management, the Department of Planning and Public Policy, and the Department of Islamic Business, the Faculty of Economics, the Department of Urban Studies and Planning, School of Architecture and Planning, Civil and Environmental Engineering, School of Engineering, Business Administration Program, Agus Salim Management. The Department of Regional and City Planning, the School of Architecture, Planning and Policy Development, and the Department of Management, and the Department of Entrepreneurship, the School of Business and Management of Mandeling University to update by understanding the circular letter number 10 SEM 2018 concerning enforcement of Standard of Selection Documents for the procurement of Construction Services in the Context of Illy Auction in the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing for Budget Year 2019, namely is annexed to of the Circle Letter No. 10 SEM 2018 concerning enforcement of Standard of Selection Documents for the procurement of Construction Services in the context of ill auction in the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing for budget year 2019, namely
Bab 10, Spesifikasi Teknis dan Gambar, Chapter 10, Technical Specification and Image. Keterangan, kelompok kerja pemilihan menguraikan spesifikasi teknis dan gambar yang diperlukan dalam pelaksanaan pekerjaan. Information The Working Group of Election describes the technical specification and drawings needed in the execution of the work. Urayan Specifikasi Teknis Description of Technical Specifications Urayan Specifikasi Teknis disusun berdasarkan spesifikasi Teknis yang ditapkan oleh pejabat membuat komitmen sesuai jenis pekerjaan yang akan ditenderkan dengan ketentuan Description of technical specification is preferred based on technical specifications set by the commitment making officer. According to the type of work to be tendered, provided that dapat menyebutkan merek dan tipe serta sedapat. Mungkin menggunakan produksi dalam negeri, semaksimal mungkin diupayakan menggunakan standar nasional Indonesia. Metode pelaksanaan harus logis, realistis, dan dapat dilaksanakan. Jangan ke waktu pelaksanaan harus sesuai dengan metode pelaksanaan. Mencantumkan macam jenis kapasitas dan jumlah peralatan utama minimal yang diperlukan dalam pelaksanaan pekerjaan. Mencantumkan syarat-syarat bahan yang dipergunakan dalam pelaksanaan pekerjaan. Mencantumkan syarat-syarat pengujian bahan dan hasil produk. Mencantumkan kriteria kinerja produk. Output. Performance yang diinginkan. Mencantumkan tata cara pengukuran dan tata cara pembayaran. Can mention the brand and type and wherever possible use domestic production. As much as possible try to use the Indonesian national standards. The implementation method must be logical, realistic and workable. The period of implementation must be in the accordance with The method of implementation, list of the types, cans, capacities, and number of minimum main equipment. Needed in carrying out the work, list the condition of material used in the execution of work. Include condition of testing product and product results. List the desired product performance criteria, output performance. Include procedures for measurement and payment procedures. Spesifikasi bahan bangunan konstruksi. Kelompok kerja pemilihan harus memastikan bahan bangunan konstruksi sesuai hasil yang telah diidentifikasi oleh pejabat pembuat komitmen. 
Setiap jenis bahan bangunan konstruksi yang tergolong sebagai bahan berbahaya dan beracun Seperti cat, tiner, gas asetilin, bahan bakar minyak, bahan bakar gas, bahan peledak, dan lain-lain harus diberi penjelasan Bahayanya cara pengangkutan, penyimpanan, penggunaan, pengendalian risiko, dan cara pembuangan Limbahnya sesuai dengan prosedur dan atau peraturan perundangan yang berlaku Informasi tentang penanganan Bahan berbahaya dan beracun dapat diperoleh dari lembar data keselamatan bahan Mitral Safety Data Sheet yang diterbitkan oleh pabrik Pembuatnya atau dari sumber-sumber yang berkompeten dan atau berwenang Construction Building Mitral Specifications The Lection Working Group must ensure that construction building material are in the column with the result identified by the commitment making officer a type of construction building material which is classified as a hazardous and toxic material sah. As pain, thinner, acetylene gas, fuel oil, gas fuel, explosive, etc. must be given an explanation of the danger, how to transport, stretch, use, risk control, and method of disposal of waste in accordance with procedures and or regulation applicable legislation. Information about handling hazardous and toxic material can be obtained from the material safety data sheet issued by the manufacturer or from competent sources and or authorities. Spesifikasi peralatan konstruksi dan peralatan bangunan kelompok kerja pemilihan harus memastikan setiap jenis alat dan perkakas sesuai hasil yang telah diidentifikasi oleh pejabat pembuat komitmen. Alat dan perkakas yang digunakan harus Dipastikan telah diberi sistem perlindungan atau kelengkapan pengaman untuk mencegah paparan ekspos bahaya secara langsung terhadap tubuh pekerja. Informasi tentang jenis, cara penggunaan, pemeliharaan, pengamanannya, alat dan Perkakas dapat diperoleh dari manual produk dari pabrik pembuatnya ataupun dari pedoman peraturan pihak yang kompeten. Specification of construction equipment and building equipment, the election working group must ensure that each type of tool and Tooling makes the result identified by the commitment making officer. The tools and utensils used must be ensured that they have been provided with a protection system or safety equipment to prevent exposure of the hazard directly to the body of the worker. 
Information about types, methods of use, maintenance, security of tools and utensils can be obtained from the product manual from the manufacturer or from the guidelines regulation of competent parties. Specification process kegiatan. Kelompok kerja pemilihan yang bersertifikat ahli petugas keselamatan dan kesehatan kerja konstruksi atau dengan melibatkan ahli keselamatan dan kesehatan kerja petugas keselamatan dan kesehatan kerja konstruksi harus menilai Kesesuaian identifikasi bahaya dari setiap tahapan kegiatan yang sudah ditetapkan oleh pejabat pembuat komitmen. Setiap proses kegiatan harus dilengkapi dengan prosedur kerja, sistem perlindungan terhadap pekerja, perlengkapan, pengaman, dan rambu-rambu. Peringatan dan kewajiban pekerja menggunakan alat pelindung diri yang sesuai dengan potensi. Bahaya pada proses tersebut, setiap jenis proses kegiatan pekerjaan yang berisiko tinggi atau pekerjaan yang berisiko Tinggi para keadaan yang berbeda harus lebih dulu dilakukan analisis keselamatan pekerjaan, job safety analysis, dan tindakan pengendaliannya. Setiap proses kegiatan yang berbahaya harus melalui prosedur izin kerja lebih dulu dari Penanggung jawab proses dan ahli keselamatan dan kesehatan kerja konstruksi setiap proses dan kegiatan pekerjaan hanya boleh dilakukan oleh tenaga kerja dan atau operator yang telah terlatih dan telah mempunyai kompetensi untuk melaksanakan jenis Pekerjaan, tugasnya termasuk kompetensi melaksanakan prosedur keselamatan dan kesehatan kerja yang sesuai pada jenis Pekerjaan tugasnya tersebut Proses Activity Specifications Election Working Group which is Certified Expert Officer of Occupational Safety and Health of Construction or by involving expert of Occupational Safety and Health Officer of Occupational Safety and Health of Construction must assist the suitability of hazard identification from a stage of activity that has been Determined by the government making officer, every process activity must be equipped with work procedures. Protection system for workers, safety equipment, and warning signs and obligations of workers using personal protective equipment. That is in the columns with the potential hazards in the process, a type of process, activity of high risk work. Or work that is at high risk in different circumstances must first carry out a job safety analysis and its control measures. 
Every dangerous process activity must go through the work permit procedures in defense of the person in charge of the process and expert in occupational health and safety. A free work process and activity may only be carried out by workers and or operators who have been trained and have the competence to carry out the type of work tasks including the competence to implement procedures of occupational safety and health that are appropriate for the type of work tasks. Spesifikasi metode konstruksi, metode pelaksanaan, metode kerja, analisis keselamatan pekerjaan, job safety, analisis harus dilakukan terhadap setiap metode konstruksi, metode pelaksanaan pekerjaan, dan persyaratan teknis untuk Mencegah terjadinya kegagalan konstruksi dan kecelakaan kerja. Metode kerja harus disusun secara logis, realistis, dan dapat dilaksanakan dengan menggunakan peralatan, perkakas, material, dan konstruksi sementara yang sesuai dengan kondisi. Lokasi tanah cuaca dan dapat dikerjakan oleh pekerja dan operator yang terlatih. Persyaratan teknis yang harus dipenuhi penyedia. Dalam menyusun dan menggunakan metode kerja dapat meliputi penggunaan alat utama dan alat bantu, perkakas, material, dan konstruksi. Sementara dengan urutan kerja yang sistematis guna mempermudah pekerja dan operator bekerja dan dapat melindungi pekerja. Alat dan material dari bahaya dan risiko kegagalan konstruksi dan kecelakaan kerja. Setiap metode kerja konstruksi yang Diusulkan penyedia harus dianalisis keselamatan pekerjaannya, job safety analysis, diuji efektivitas pelaksanaannya, dan efisiensi biayanya jika semua faktor kondisi lokasi, tanah, cuaca, alat perkakas, material, urutan kerja, dan kompetensi Pekerja operator telah ditinjau dan dianalisis serta dipastikan dapat menjamin keselamatan, kesehatan, dan keamanan konstruksi dan Pekerja operator maka metode kerja dapat disetujui setelah dilengkapi dengan gambar dan prosedur kerja yang sistematis. dan atau mudah dipahami oleh pekerja, operator, setiap tahapan pelaksanaan konstruksi utama yang mempunyai potensi bahaya tinggi harus dilengkapi dengan metode kerja yang di dalamnya sudah mencakup analisis keselamatan pekerjaan, Job safety analysis, misalnya untuk pekerjaan di ketinggian, mutlak harus digunakan perancah, lantai kerja, platform, papan tepi, tangga kerja, pagar pelindung tepi, serta alat pelindung diri yang sesuai antara lain helm dan sabuk keselamatan agar pekerja terlindung.
dari bahaya jatuh untuk perjalanan saluran galian tanah berpasir yang mudah longsor dengan kedalaman satu setengah meter atau lebih mutlak harus menggunakan turap dan tangga akses bagi pekerja untuk naik turun setiap metode kerja harus melalui analisis dan Perhitungan yang diperlukan berdasarkan data teknis yang dapat dipertanggungjawabkan baik dari standar yang berlaku atau melalui penyelidikan teknis dan analisis laboratorium maupun terdapat pendapat ahli terkait yang independen specification of the construction method Implementation method, working method, job safety analysis must be carried out on each construction method, method of carrying out work and technical requirements to prevent construction failures and work incidents. Work methods must be arranged logically. Realistically and can be carried out using equipment, tools, materials, and temporary construction, which are in accordance with site land water condition and can be done by trained workers and operators. Technical requirements that must be fulfilled by Providers in complying and using work methods can include the use of primary tools and aids with ensil materials and temporary construction in a systematic sequence of work to facilitate workers and operators to work and protect workers, tools and materials from harm and risk of construction. Failure and work incidents, a prima thought of working. Construction proposed by the father must be analyzed by Joff. Safety analysis, tested for its effectiveness and cost efficiency if all the factors of location, land, water, condition, tools, utensil, Metros, work order, and competency of workers or fratters have been reviewed and analyzed and are ensured to guarantee the safety, health, and safety of construction and workers or fratters. The work methods can be approved after equipped with image and work. Procedures that are systemic and are easily understood by workers or fratters. Every stage of the main construction implementation that has high hazard potential must be equipped with work methods which include job safety analysis. For example, for Work at H, absolute cap falling, work floor, platform, edge board, work ladder, edge guard fence, and personal protective equipment, including helmets and safety belts, so workers are protected from the danger of falling. For the dredging work of landslides, sandy soil with a Depth of 1.5 meters or more, it is an absolute must use plaster and leather access for workers to go up down. Every work method must go through the analysis and calculation required based on technical data that can be accounted for both from 
The applicable standard or drug technical investigation on laboratory analysis and the opinions of related experts in defendant. Spesifikasi jabatan kerja konstruksi setiap kegiatan pekerjaan perancangan perencanaan perhitungan dan gambar-gambar konstruksi penetapan spesifikasi dan prosedur teknis serta metode pelaksanaan konstruksi kerja harus dilakukan oleh Tenaga ahli yang mempunyai kompetensi yang dipersyaratkan, baik pekerjaan arsitektur, struktur sipil, mekanikal, elektrikal, pelambing, dan penataan lingkungan maupun interior dan jenis pekerjaan lain yang terkait. Setiap tenaga ahli tersebut pada butir A, Di atas harus mempunyai kemampuan untuk melakukan proses manajemen risiko, identifikasi bahaya, penilaian risiko, dan pengendalian risiko yang terkait dengan disiplin ilmu dan pengalaman profesionalnya dan dapat memastikan bahwa semua potensi bahaya dan risiko yang terkait pada bentuk rancangan spesifikasi teknis dan metode kerja konstruksi tersebut telah diidentifikasi dan telah dikendalikan pada tingkat yang dapat diterima sesuai dengan standar teknik dan standar keselamatan dan kesehatan kerja yang berlaku. Setiap kegiatan pekerjaan pelaksanaan, pemasangan, pembongkaran, pemindahan, pengangkutan, pengangkatan, penyimpanan, perletakan, pengambilan, pembuangan, pembongkaran, dan sebagainya harus dilakukan oleh tenaga ahli. dan tenaga terampil yang berkompeten berdasarkan gambar-gambar spesifikasi teknis, manual, pedoman, dan standar serta rujukan yang benar. Dan sah atau telah disetujui oleh tenaga ahli yang terkait. Setiap tenaga ahli dan tenaga terampil di bidang keselamatan dan kesehatan kerja, Konstruksi di atas harus melakukan analisis keselamatan pekerjaan, job safety analysis, setiap sebelum memulai pekerjaannya untuk memastikan bahwa potensi bahaya dan risiko telah diidentifikasi dan diberikan tindakan pencegahan terhadap Kecelakaan kerja dan atau penyakit di tempat kerja, construction work, position, specification, activity, planning work, design, calculation, and drawings of construction, determination of specification, and technical procedures, and methods of Implementation construction work must be carried out by experts who have the required competences, both structural structural, civil, mechanical, electrical, work plumbing, and environmental and interarrangement and Other type of related work, every expert in item A above must have the ability to carry out risk management processes.
Hazard identification, risk assessment, and risk control that are related to scientific disciplines and professional experience and can ensure that all potential of hazard and risk are related to the form of the design technical specification and work construction. Methods have been identified and have been controlled at an acceptable level in accordance with technical standards and standards. Of occupational safety and health in applicable, every activity, implementation work, installation, demolition, transfer, transportation, Appointment, stretch, placement, retrieval, disposal, dismantling, etc. must be carried out by expert and competent skilled personnel based on driving technical specification manuals, guidelines and standards and correct and legitimate reference or approved by relevant experts. Every expert and skilled worker in the field of operational safety and health construction above must carry out a job safety analysis every time before starting his work to ensure that the potential of hazard and risk have been identified and given preventive measures against workplace. Accidents and all diseases in the workplace, keterangan gambar, gambar-gambar untuk pelaksanaan pekerjaan harus ditetapkan oleh pejabat pembuat komitmen secara terinci, lengkap, dan jelas antara lain peta lokasi layout. Potongan memanjang, potongan melintang, detail-detail konstruksi, picture information, the image for the execution of work must be determined. By the commitment making official in detail, complete and clear, including map location, layout, along with piece. Construction, construction details. Sumber-sumber susi surat daran nomor 10 SEM 2018 tentang pemberlakuan standar dokumen pemilihan. Pengadaan jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat untuk tahun anggaran 2019, Lampiran 2. Sekolah letter No. 10 SCM 2018 concerning enforcement of the selection document standard for procurement of construction services in the context of Election in the Ministry of Public Work and Public Housing for by year 2018. 2019 Annex 2 Google Translate. Morning Natal Sumatera Utara Indonesia 1 Agustus tahun 2032 Masehi Face of Man Agustus.